10 secret shortcuts true you heard it right all i am gonna convey to you is that 10 secret shortcuts using which you can actually get your listening score 90 out of 90 let's say you're stuck at 55 let's say you're stuck at 65 trust me today's video will give you complete understanding or comprehensive video complete understanding of how to improve the scores using this 10 secret shortcut that no one tells you make sure you watch the video till the end hey everybody nakul from skills pt academic really hope everybody is doing fantastic guys i'm back with it another power packed completely packed tips video towards pt listening before we get into the video if not subscribe to this channel kindly click on the subscribe button anytime you need online assistance you can whatsapp us to the number given there we will be there i'll be there to help you guide you in the right direction i tell you a lot of students on an everyday basis are getting that 90 overall i hope you have seen the same in the youtube shorts insta page and um, the youtube community post as well so don't delay your success all right let's get into the video let me just share my screen pt listening 10 secret shortcuts Shh. all right secret shortcuts for a 90 out of 90 with respect to pt listening I have come across a lot of students these days. Listening score is not going up because probably they are assuming template is um, you know, missing, the working template they are not using and a lot many rumors are being spread as well. Correct? So today's video will give you complete understanding and what are those 10 secret shortcuts that you just need to follow and get that into the right direction and get that 90 out of 90 in listening. The shortcut number one. Or a today's video uh, shortcut 1 to 10 will deal with so many modules like you have repeat sentence, retail lecture, answer short questions from speaking, giving marks to listening, and then the complete listening module. Everything will be covered in this 10 shortcuts, but shortcut number one, we're going to start with speaking, which is a repeat sentence that contributes 30 marks to listening. If your listening is low, trust me, here you need improvement. Content, the first secret shortcut is content. You don't have to give 100%. Well, if you can give 100%, well and good. But let's say perhaps you are not able to. Then don't have to worry. 50-60% is enough. Every day when you practice, practice to give back at least 50-60% content correctly. But you need to be very, very fluent. If you do this, 100% content is not I'm asking. Not just 50, 50, 60, 10 percent extra is what I'm asking and be fluent and just speak. You will get 30 out of 30 marks towards your listening. But what people end up doing? They try to speak everything, 100 percent content they try to give. And they do this on an everyday basis when they practice. In the exam, what happens? They become nervous. In doing so, that means in giving that 100 percent content, people end up fumbling end up pausing it's gonna be a straight zero one repeat sentence gives you three mark you're gonna if you fumble if you try to speak everything correctly when you fumble when you make a mess out of it it's gonna be a zero out of three these people are not realizing please follow this secret shortcut that no one tells you 50 60 percent you focus and just speak confidently you'll get full marks you can trust me on this if you're not getting marks it's only because you're fumbling the clarity is not good you're not opening the mouth and speaking for example let's listen to this audio the environmental activists organize campaigns to raise awareness about deforestation environmental activists raise awareness about deforestation what i'm doing is i'm listening to few of it i'm not listening full see this audio i can speak full the environmental activists organize campaigns to raise awareness about deforestation environmental activists raise campaigns to organize events about this gonna be zero i may speak full but if i am pausing if i am fumbling it's gonna be zero to listening pay more attention so it's always best you listen to it in parts don't listen full when i first spoke clearly i was listening and when environmental activists raise awareness about the forest this i listen this i listen this i listen this i did not a lot of data man problem is if you listen full and then try to speak half will not work boss listen half or 60 percent and speak that 60 percent problem solved you listen full that's where the problem starts so content 50 60 percent is enough Envi environmental activists raise awareness about deforestation six words properly i'm speaking but it has nine words i'm speaking six words perfectly i'll get three out of three and if you if i do this for the rest of the repeat sentence i get 30 marks out of 30 marks towards my listening and this is what is 
missing for a lot of people many ends up getting 15 out of 30 from speaking to listening this is the bigger blunder and like i told you the major problem is they're trying to speak everything all right the very first shortcut is this second shortcut written lecture don't speak 40 second remember 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 the more you speak the more mistakes you make agree disagree definitely man come on accept it correct so use the template any template is fine but use the one that gets you the fluency i'm going to share a template now but write at least small four to five phrases for a better marks to listening have seen people writing keywords one word one word one word one word what if those one 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 word software is not able to understand let's say you're not speaking it clearly what is going to happen Magon marks if you write a phrase a phrase is four words one two three four this is a small phrase in this if you speak four most probably even if not four out of four at least three words software will be able to understand get you more marks this is the only intention and avoid writing just the keywords only because you can write more four to five small phrases is enough 25 seconds you speak use a template don't worry about the grammar this is the secret shortcut when you speak you don't have to worry about grammar in speaking you worry about grammar gone case you try to fix it correct you try to you know speak perfectly and there the marks goes for a toss because you will be fumbling speak fluent speak fluent speak fluent and avoid keywords for a better listening score as much as possible please avoid uh, wherever it's not possible let's say audio was so small you were able to write four keywords you cannot do much but let's say audio is 1.5 minutes you can write four phrases man don't just stick to keywords remember if you write only keywords you may lose some extra one or two marks to listening this module contributes six to eight marks to listening if you follow whatever the way i told you you should be getting six to eight marks to listening completely the template is this the lecture gives important key points and the relevant information about don't write one word write a small phrase in the beginning the speaker explained about let a speaker mention about the importance of here the speaker was ideally pointing at the fact that in conclusion the speaker gives the important key points about use some phrases please try using phrases only in the worst case put one word one keyword otherwise write four four words or phrases three to four four to five phrases more than enough so that you will be reaping all those marks to listening i'm concerned about listening people give keywords and finish it off what about listening score out of six to eight probably you get four there are only four marks lost be very careful and then comes shortcut number three answer short question this also contributes marks to listening that's what pearson says one mark in the worst case but don't worry about this module and no only to worry don't carry actually any marks from my experience or hardly max to max one no need to worry too much about it if you know the answer tell the answer if you don't know the answer repeat the question or say something relevant to the question who is an ophthalmologist let's say you don't know who exactly he is uh, then you can say a doctor or you don't know if he is doctor also I can just repeat who is ophthalmologist or if you forgot or if you forget the question then <laughs> just say I don't know don't have to worry this will not give any mark we have tried and tested in one of the official mock or in the exam and in the exam by the way we skipped this model still got 90 out of 90 so what I am telling you don't worry about this that's the secret shortcut here people spend a lot of money give money to uh, people who can you know get them the repeated questions don't do all those things this will not work this will not give you any score so don't worry that's a shake secret shortcut number three let's move on to shortcut number four now we will come to the listening module okay summarize spoken text contribute some six to eight marks two questions are coming these days 60 to 65 words or 65 and above less than 70 you write you need to write between 50 and 70 but my suggestion is this or at least 67 68 write as much as possible just write again just like the written lecture use short small four to five phrases watch my summarized spoken text video i have explained in detail as to how to do it make sure no spelling mistakes boss you make one spelling mistake you lose one or two marks five spelling mistake this would be zero these people don't know template 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 this is the real thing after using a template also people end up making a lot of spelling mistakes use the template i'm going to show you the template um, the talk was about probably here you can write one word firstly the speaker talked about write a small phrase three to four words later speaker said three to four words furthermore the speaker provided imperative information on three to four words in the end the speaker left an important note on three to four words 
Small small phrases, please write, use some phrases instead of keywords for a better marks. Keywords is also fine out of let's say 8 marks for summarized spoken text. You used 4 keywords, you may end up getting 5. You write phrases, you may end up getting 8 out of 8. You don't get 90 from this. Remember this. Let's say you wrote all the phrases, you should be getting 8 out of 8. But let's say you made 5 spelling mistakes. Mostly it is 1 out of 8 or 2 out of 8. You don't get any marks. Spelling mistakes should not happen. Be very, very careful. That's the secret shortcut number 4. Now we go to shortcut number 5. Now it gets more interesting because I've got grammar secret shortcuts here. Listening fill in the blanks. Trust me, if your scores in writing and listening is always less than this guy is the enemy. People don't know this. This guy contributes 10 to 15 marks. Let's say in your essay, you made a lot of mistakes. Still, you can get 12 mark out of 15. Here, out of 15, you make mistakes. You may end up getting zero as well. This is the module, guys. Trust me. This is the module that a lot of people have problems with. Because of this, marks definitely will go down in listening and writing. 10 to 15 marks from this prove very, very costly. So many grammar shortcuts are there. One of the shortcuts, secret shortcut, is use article concept to understand singular or plural. When the audio is so fast, the developments happened. Development or developments, I was not able to listen clearly. Use the article concept. 90% of the people write this wrong. Uh, make sure no spelling mistakes. Let's look at this. I've got two blanks here, first one and second one. Try to answer it, then I'll come back and explain. Even without audio, how you can answer this. All right, uh, listen to it carefully. A virus is defined as any of a various number of submicroscopic parasites that can infect any animal, plant or bacteria and often lead to very serious or even deadly diseases. A virus consists of a core of RNA or DNA, we'll go towards the end. surrounded by ability of self-reproduction and are not always considered to be living organisms in the regular sense. I'll play the last part again. Though they can be spread, viruses lack the ability of self-reproduction and are not always considered to be living organisms in the regular sense. Okay, how do we do it? This was easy, they, they told deadly diseases. Okay, here, organism or organisms? Okay, I'll answer this. See, if it is organism, it should be to be a living organism. The article concept says, when you're talking about a countable noun, if it's singular, let's say boy, pay more attention. You cannot simply write boy, it should be a boy. Otherwise, write boys. If ye is not there, add a plural. If ye is there, add singular. Here, if to be a living organism, to be ye is not there, organisms. Here, and often lead to a oh, very serious or even deadly disease. If ye is not their diseases. Hope you are getting it. So what I am talking about is, even before the audio plays, you should know. Oh, ye is not there. This is a plural noun. Ye is not there. This should be a plural noun. That's exactly what I am talking about. Apply this concept and see how beautiful it is, how helpful it is to get good marks. Most of the blanks will be based on this. Trust me on this. Is, these are all the grammar shortcuts. It's called article concept. Don't forget them. Now the next step is whenever you practice, whenever you come across them, apply things and see. I'm sure you will have a smile on your face because you are actually witnessing the magic. Correct? Where you used to lose a lot of marks, but now you are gaining marks because the shortcuts you have learned from this video. All right. Let's quickly move on to, like I told you, this is an organism. Let's quickly move on to shortcut number six. Listening, fill in the blanks. One more. Use, is, was, are, were. And V3 concept. What is this V3? Eat, verb 1. Eight, verb 2, past tense. Eaten is verb 3. Hope you are getting it. Eat, eight, eaten. After is, was, are, were. Verb 1 cannot come. Verb 2 cannot come. It's either verb ing. He is running. Or he is killed. Verb 3 only will come. ING will come. ING is easy to identify. His kill. His kill or killed. Verb 3 will come. Using this, we can actually decide if ED is there or not because when you listen to it, this ED is not clearly pronounced. Yes or no? Yes or no? See here, a virus is. Let's play this audio. I'll play the beginning and the end part. Try doing it. A virus is defined as any of a very. Define. People end up writing define. But the concept is after E is verb 3. Define is verb 1. Defined is verb 2. Defined is verb 3. D-E-F-I-N-E-D will come. And the last one, if you see here, 
R not always, not always you can remove after R again ED will come. R considered to be, I am going to play the end part. Always considered to be living self reproduction and are not always considered to be living. Consider is wrong, it is considered ED will come. This is the concept. After is, was, are, were or am. I am, I was, he is, they are, he was, they were. This is what the concept is, am, are, were, was. ED will come or verb 3 will come. And if you know this, trust me when you start implementing, you will have that smile. Because know where you are going wrong in these small things. Shortcut number 7, we will quickly move. One more shortcut, secret shortcut that nobody tells you, I bet on it. Listening fill the blanks. Use SVA concept. What is this SVA? Subject to verb agreement. To understand verb 1 or verb S. Sorry on that. What is this verb S? Pay more attention. Eats is verb with S, correct? Eat is verb 1. After he, singular, I am adding S. After they, plural, I am not adding S. This is subject for agreement. Subject is he. Verb is eat. This subject and verb agrees on an agreement that I will be friends with you if you add yes to me if you are singular. I will be friends with you if you are plural. Don't add yes to me. Remember, he eats, they eat. He eats, they eat. Let us try to solve the concept. So, now human brain is singular or plural? Human brain is plural. Human brain is singular. In the present tense, now we need yes. Even before the audio, I know yes has to come. A change in the electrical charge of one cell, here the acting noun is a change. A change in something, dash the, here a change is the acting noun, singular, a change. He eats here also, yes has to come. Even before the audio, I know that it is verb with S. Now let us play the audio. Memory is one of the building blocks of the brain. It can help keep us safe. That red stove burner is hot, don't touch it. And forms the basis of our identities and narratives about our lives. The simplest answer is that the human brain reshapes itself with... Reshape, wrong, reshapes. This is exactly what I am talking about. When you know them in advance, trust me, you will not make mistakes. Easy peasy, just learn the concepts, grammar concepts. Finish my grammar full course, I made two hour grammar full course video uh, around one, one and a half month back, the video is booming, you can type skills PT, grammar, full course, all these things have been covered. We will continue. Each new memory. This happens through the actions of synapses or the tiny gaps between brain cells. Brain cells or neurons communicate with each other through an elegant electrochemical system. A change in the electrical charge of one cell triggers the release of chemicals. Triggers. Yes, has to come like I told you in advance. So, this is the concept using which sometimes you will not be able to listen to it clearly, but still using grammar, you can write the correct answers. Shortcut number 8, let us quickly move on, right from dictation, 35 to 40 marks from this module. Prove very, very costly, not 35 to 40, it could be 45 to 50 also and into 2 because this 35 to 40 will go to listening, 35 to 40 will go to writing. 80 marks or sometimes 90 marks it contributes overall. Half of it will come to listening, half of it will go to writing. Very, very important module. Add extra words. Nicole, are you sure? Uh, my tutor told me don't add. Guys, adding extra words will not take away your scores. But simply adding will not come. Simply adding will not get to the scores. You need to write. Whatever you add should match. But simply adding, you will not get the scores. When you add and if it matches, definitely get double scores. So, what exactly meant by adding extra words? Let us see. This is the audio. The dog eagerly fetches balls, its tail wagging in excitement each time. The dog eagerly fetches balls, its tail wagging in excitement each time. Someone is throwing the ball, doggy is going there and fetching the ball and its tail wagging, wagging like this in excitement each time. So, this is the correct answer. 12 words are there. Pay more attention. Every word will give you one mark. In fact, two words, this 12 words means 12 marks to listening, 12 marks to writing. So, 24 marks you get from this. 1, 2, 3, like this, 12 marks are, 12 words are there. But, this is what the answer I would want all my viewers to write. The dog, what if it is dogs? You are not able to hear clearly because it is a lengthy audio, you, are, you cannot focus on small, small things. So, 
singular noun, plural noun. What if it is fetch? I will write fetch, fetches. Ball or balls? IT is full problem na call. IT space IS, IT apostrophe S, yes, IT S. Yes. All three, whichever is correct, you get the marks. Tail, tails. Wagging, spelling, big problem, W A G G or W A G. This is waging by the way, but I am writing it. Excitement, spelling, problem. E X C I or E X I? Write both. Each time is one word or two separate words? I will add. In the end, ye, ye, da, da. This is your answer. This is how your answer looks like. Just by adding, you will not get it. has to match. But when you, it matches, you can get more scores, right? So, what I am talking about is singular noun, plural noun, ball, balls dog dogs getting it uh, because we don't listen to them clearly when we start writing correct so you need to add singular noun plural noun both verb 1 verb 2 verb so here fetches fetched or fetch all three you can add ye and the ye and the and extra spellings each time excitement whichever you are um, you have a problem with you think you have a problem then add extra spellings this is the secret strategy. This will work, this will definitely work. Just a simply writing add extras will not work. Whatever the words that match, you will get the marks. Now, every word is matching, I will get 12 marks to listening, 12 marks to writing separately. Hope that helps you. Now, we will come to shortcut number 9, secret shortcuts that no one tells you. Write from dictation, write in any order. This is the audio. He went to India, Japan, Brazil and Singapore. You can write, you went to Japan, Brazil, India, Singapore and you still will get full marks. India need not be in the fourth place only, it can be here as well. Are you sure Knuckle is this tested 100%? It is working since almost close to five and a half years. Even in my exam, I have done this many times. Every day my students are doing it. You can do it. But simply adding, simply writing in reverse order will not get marks. It has to match. Idea is if India is there somewhere, it will give mark. So, write somewhere. So, when you listen, don't have to worry about the ordering of the words, especially for these things when four names are there, four country names are there. It becomes difficult to remember the order. You don't have to remember the order. Remember the names India, Japan, Singapore. One more name is Brazil. You can write in any order, doesn't matter, but that word should be there. Golden tips, man. Come on. <laughs> All right. So, the last one. In every video, I have made the last shortcut, something special. So, that you guys will watch till there. That's the reality. The last is something really special. Um, let's say you need just 50 marks. Let's say, let's say. I'm not able to understand the audio. Or you need 90, or you need 65, or you need 79. Last audio was so quick. I went to the market and gave what? Even I don't know what I spoke. He went to the market and came here quickly, swiftly. Something it went very fast. And you had no clue what it was. Then have a generic sentence that I'm going to show here. If you are lucky, four to five marks, mostly you will get it. What I meant by this is this. This is the audio, let's say. She carefully tends to flowers, ensuring they bloom beautifully in the garden. This was simple. She carefully tends to flowers, ensuring uh, beautifully that they blossom or something. She carefully tends to flowers. She carefully tends to flowers, tending the flower. Ensuring they bloom beautifully in the garden. Ensuring they bloom beautifully in the garden. What if it went so fast? It's difficult to write. Let's say you didn't understand anything or you just need 50 and your skill set is not that great. A generic answer will be this. So, this is the correct answer. She carefully tends to flowers, ensuring they bloom, bloom beautifully in the garden. But you can write like this. He, she, we, I. It as all the prepositions of to in the the ye ye they it through across of usually in of to ye the he she i we they this will be definitely used so she he she to will be used in most of the audios they or these in the on the on also you can write Getting it, so writing all the prepositions and the pronouns, see man, out of 12 you end up getting 5. Otherwise, you would have got 0. Now, at least you get 5 marks now. Think about it. Golden strategies, trust me on this. Come Sandy man, let's say you just need 50 and last audio you messed up. Write something like this, at least the 4 or 5 marks will get you that 50 or you need 65. Last audio was so quick, not even a word I was able to catch. Write this, at least instead of losing all 10 or 12, you lose probably 4 or 5. 
<laughs> all right fine guys i really hope this video made sense if you really like the video leave your appreciation with a thumbs up and do leave a comment as to how you felt about the video all right uh, very soon i'll be back nakul will be back with a lot of motivating content informative content like this keep watching skills pt academy do subscribe for more and anytime you need online assistance whatsapp us we will be there to help you guide in the right direction very soon we'll be back till then take care bye bye